Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week, uh, again, doing some loose, semi-abstract watercolor landscape painting. And I just wanted to give some advice, tips, suggestions, just share some ideas um, for people who want to sort of loosen up their painting style. So tip number one would be use wet in wet techniques. So you're using wet paint on wet paper. When you do that, you're going to have to embrace a little bit of chaos because you can't control exactly what's happening on the paper. There'll be a, a little bit of unknown in there. So that's going to force you to loosen up a bit. It's going to force you to maybe change your mindset about control and always being in control and just generally just loosen up your, your painting style. So if you haven't tried wet and wet, I definitely recommend it. Assuming, of course, you want to, to loosen up your painting style. Point number two, or tip number two is related to the first one and it's use an actual watercolor paper. So don't mess around with so-called mixed media papers or drawing papers or those sort of papers have not been sized. Um, so sizing is you treat the paper with, or the manufacturer treats the paper with a chemical, or in some cases an animal product. And this treatment, um, it doesn't make the paper waterproof. What it does is it makes it slightly water retardant, I guess. It slows down the absorption of the water and the paint into the paper. And that gives you a minute or two when you first put the, the water and the paint onto the paper. It gives you a little bit of time just to move things around, uh, rearrange things, to actually do wet in wet painting. Number three, again, somewhat related to the, the first two, is try to use a limited palette. You'll see on the paper that there is mixing happening. I'm only using two colors, blue and yellow. But you can see other greens and grays and things starting to appear. And that's just using the two colors, the blue and the yellow. If you're using three, four, ten colors, you're going to get an awful lot of mixing. And too much mixing tends sometimes to lead to not so attractive colors appearing, um, browns and things like that. And you end up with a, a somewhat muddy painting and you lose the vibrancy of the original colors. So try and stick to a limited palette. A limited palette also reduces the amount of choice that you have. And again, that can help to speed things up. It can simplify things and it can help with loosening up as well. Number three, um, different people will disagree with this, but I would, you know, with watercolor, you have a choice. You can buy tubes of paint just as you would with oil or acrylic, but you can also buy those little dried blocks of paint. Um, personally, I don't like those little blocks. They're, I, you know, they're just, they're not my sort of thing. The thing is with the blocks, you have to reactivate them. So you need to use a wet brush or you need to spray the blocks with water. You need to do something to reactivate them. Um, with paint tubes, you just squeeze a little bit of paint onto a plastic palette or plate or something like this. And then you just pick it up with a brush and away you go. Um, you don't have to dilute things, first of all. So again, it's, I feel, just my personal opinion, you can get more vibrant colors when you're using paint pretty much straight from the tube. And really with these paintings, I want vibrant colors. Um, I'm not trying to get realistic colors. I want bright, vibrant, in your face type of colors. Another idea, I forget what we're up to, number four or something like that. Um, don't use references and don't copy. So. Copying is great at the beginning. It help, gives you a bit of confidence. Um, it's a good way of learning, but you have to develop your own style at some point. So at some point you just have to stop copying and start experimenting. 
Also, if you're using references, immediately reference photographs are filled with details. The camera will pick up all these little details. You can't paint all of those details. Um, so when people use references, they tend to tighten up and focus in on the details. With this sort of painting, forget about details. You're looking at sort of the big picture, um, the big shapes. So just use your imagination. You know what a landscape looks like. Just, just get a brush, some paint, water, and start start painting. Okay. Well, those are I forget how many there was four or five, six tips, ideas, suggestions um, to try and loosen up painting style. This is the scan of the final painting. As you see, very loose, very abstract. But I think it, there's still enough in there that it sort of reads as a landscape especially the blue sky and the sort of horizon line across the center. Um, those two bits of information help the viewer, I think, to read it as a landscape painting. Okay, well, if you made it this far in the video, short video this week, but thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and hopefully see you again in next week's video.